you don't already know, I love talking about skincare in general and that is also the main reason why I started my YouTube channel and because of that, a couple of my friends uh, asked me like how do I start a skincare routine, what products should I buy for my skin type like what do I do for my skin concerns, something like that so I thought I'd do a video on how to build a skincare routine but before I start this video, I do want to put a disclaimer that I am not a professional, I don't study dermatology, but these are the informations that I get from my own research through reading from professionals. So before jumping on how to build the skincare routine, I feel like it's important for you to know your skin type and the cheapest way to determine your skin type is by examining your own skin so how you do it is you wash your face in the morning and then you leave it dry don't put anything on your face and until midday you check your skin out so if you see that it doesn't have much of a difference from after you wash your face maybe a little bit oily you probably have normal skin if your face is shinier and you look oilier and you have large pores, uh, most probably you have oily skin. If your skin feels dry and it feels tight until midday, most probably you have dry skin. And if your T-zone is the only parts that are oily and other parts are dry, that could be you have combination skin. And if you have dry and red skin starts peeking through most probably you have sensitive skin so this is why it is important to know your skin type because if you have oily skin you wouldn't want to use products that are targeted for people with dry skin because that may cause more breakouts to your skin because of the thick ingredients and if you have dry skin you wouldn't want to use products that are for people with oily skin because then you wouldn't get enough hydration and moisture from the products yeah so now let us start with the first step which is to double cleanse basically double cleansing is using an oil-based cleanser followed by a water-based cleanser so every day we are exposed to many kinds of impurities like dirt excess sebum pollution sunscreen makeup if you wear makeup just by using a single water-based cleanser will not make the cut think of it like this in science oil does not mix with water right so with both oil and water-based impurities on our skin we need both oil and water-based cleansers to remove all of that right and for water based cleanser it is recommended to use a low ph level cleansers because we need to maintain the ph level of our skin barrier if you don't know our skin barrier has a ph level of 5 to 5.5 something like that so when we have like dehydrated skin or when we have acne most probably the reason why we get those is because the ph level of our skin barrier is off balance which means it leads more towards the alkaline side so using a low pH water based cleanser can help balance it out and also a tip when you're cleansing your face make sure you rub your cleanser long enough for it to you know work its magic so that you can maximize the use of your products so the second step of building your skincare routine is to use toners uh, toners are used right after you cleanse your face and also just now i mentioned that low ph cleansers are used to balance the skin's ph level right so that is also one of the functions of toners toners uh, balance out your skin's ph level right after you clean your face because even the most gentle cleansers can make your skin be slightly unbalanced so this is where toner comes in and the second function of toner is to hydrate your skin so when your skin is hydrated the products you use after you use toner will be easier to absorb into your skin think of it like 
uh, a sponge, a dry sponge and a damp sponge. If you put liquid on both of these sponge, most likely the damp sponge will absorb the products better. So that's the same case for our skin. And of course, choosing the right toner will help you get better results. For example, if you have dry skin, you might want to look for a more hydrating toners. And if you have oily skin, you might want to look for something that can control your oil production while keeping your hydration at bay. So the third step is to moisturize your skin. Moisturizing is an important step that you need to do day and night. Doesn't matter how many skincare products you use, doesn't matter what type of skin you have because it's that important. There's this misconception about moisturizers that you only use it when your skin is dry and that is not the case even if you have oily skin you still need to use moisturizer because with that it helps control the, the sebum production the oil production on your face and if you don't use moisturizer your skin tends to produce more oil than it's supposed to hence why it can cause clogged pores yada 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 so a good moisturizer keeps your skin barrier protected and hydrated and also so it will lock all the hydration that you put before your moisturizer. There are also different types of moisturizers for different skin types. If you have oily skin, you may want to look for moisturizers that are oil free. Uh, most of them come in gel form, something like that. And you have dry skin, a cream based moisturizer is recommended so that it can give moisture to your skin and hydrate your skin while keeping your dry dry patches at bay. The last and the most crucial step is to protect your skin. Sunscreen is super important no matter like how expensive your skincare is, how many skincare you use, if you don't wear sunscreen, it's gonna be a waste. So the main function of sunscreen is it protects your skin from ultraviolet rays. There are also scientific evidence that shows when you use sunscreen, you keep out from direct sunlight. It can be effective in preventing skin cancer and also short-term and long-term skin damages. And even if it's not sunny outside, even if it's raining or it's cloudy, anything like that, you still need to wear sunscreen because 80% of the sun rays can still penetrate through to the skin even if it's cloudy and if you are surrounded by sand or water or even snow like the sun ray can bounce back to your face like through the sand and the snow and the water so yeah it's still terrifying to know that so when you're looking for sunscreen you would probably see like all this uh, weird terms on the packaging like SPF, PA++, something like that. So basically, SPF means sun protection factor which indicates how long you will be protected from the ultraviolet B rays. So UVB rays are the ones that cause sunburn and reddening on your skin. Basically, if you use SPF which are higher, tendency is your skin will be protected in a long time, in theory. But it is always recommended to reapply your sunscreen every two hours because you might be sweating and all that external stuff. So PA means protection grade of ultraviolet A rays. So the more plus signs you see indicates more protection from the ultraviolet A rays. So what UVA rays does is it penetrates through your epidermis which is the top layer of the skin it goes into and gives more harmful damages to the skin and you do not want that right so even if you're not going out if you're just in the car where you're still exposed to sunlight through the window or if you're at home and you have windows at home obviously you are still exposed to the sunlight so wear your sun protection because girl and boy the sun knows no window. So wear your sun protection. So that is all for today's video. I hope this video is helpful for any of you guys who wants to start a skincare routine or anyone who is overwhelmed and want to like start new or whatever. And again, I want to mention that 
with skincare, it's basically trial and error. There's no such thing as one size fits all. As much as you don't want to hear it, you need to try and error with skincare to find what works best for you and what works best for your skin. So, I hope you liked today's video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share it if you think it's helpful for you. And comment down below your skincare routine because I would like to know your skincare routine. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. Bye bye.